Hey everyone and welcome to a quick Planet Zoo update video. Yeah, we are talking about upcoming changes to the game officially from Planet Zoo. And you can see I am here in the forum and this is going to be a major uh, cool thing even though they just kind of subtly put that into their wonderful uh, forum and we are talking about Variants of fur and skin skin variant. I think this is one of the biggest wishes the community had um, Since the very beginning people were all over that, you know animals have different variants and uh, You could have even seen people on reddit and stuff sharing uh, potential photoshopped images how it could work and whatnot And uh, yeah frontier finally is bringing this to us and they're very excited And this will also work as you can see in this little text you can read it yourself I'm not going too much into the text, but there are some very important things they have a system of three Three different um, uh, changes and that is sub subtle uh, medium and heavy and I'm gonna talk about these with the three images they provided to us I downloaded them so we can have a bit of a more detailed look and um also, uh, what is kind of cool is that they do it to most habitat animals. The exhibit ones don't get this, but you know, I think that should be fine. And some others don't do it as well. I guess those which usually don't really have that in reality as well. This is what they also state. Um, and yeah, I think it's very cool that they just not um, simply give it to us, but they actually have like a different layer system in, um, which I think is pretty cool. So now let's minimize that one over here and look into the animals actually itself. Now this is the uh, American bison and this is the, um, um, first thing, uh, and this is the very lowest version of changes, this is the subtle one, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here, and you can see on the left, you can actually tell, this left hand side is a tad bit more saturated than the right hand side, that one seems to be a bit more desaturated, you know, um, I can't really tell with the one in the shadow in the back, um, I'm assuming that that one in the far back over here is even more colored, but you know, that is just me guessing, I think it, uh, the big changes you can really tell is between those two, you have that one on the left hand side uh, being a bit, you know, more colorful a bit more saturated a bit more um, you know prominent on the colors while that one is a bit more grayish and just in general a tad bit more um, yeah just subtle I guess it's, it's the best thing because of the stage let's move on to the second one which is the uh, giraffe and this one over here is a bit more you can actually see some changes to this and again you always have to be careful from the screenshots first of all they're not the best quality unfortunately um, and second of all which I think is even more important to note um, is that you know you can't really tell from a screenshot because of the light and the angle. So some of these changes might be more heavy than you would assume. Um, you can definitely tell that this one on the left hand side is a lot more bright, it's a lot more, um, yeah, just just not that much of a different, not, not, not that contrasty. And then if you look to the right hand side, I think these two are actually really changing a lot um, how the game will feel because that is giving each individual zoo and habitat you build so much more feeling because you never know what you get. I mean, I'm not for scum, but this is really cool because it really helps to sell the idea. The animals are super realistic, like Planet Zoo did a wonderful job, like Frontier and the animators did a wonderful job in bringing them to us and make them feel super realistic and stuff. But then again, after a while, we have to actually agree that it got a bit boring, it got a bit, uh, you know, as amazing as the skin variants they already had in game were like they you know the tigers did have different stripes and the uh, giraffes never have the same pattern which is kind of cool but again this is something you know you don't really notice when you're playing the game you only notice that when you're going super up close and this is kind of a general frontier thing they always have such an incredible detail that you really you, you can go to the very very tiny detail very close up and they have a detail there but sometimes you know zooming out there is this little bit of difference missing and you can definitely tell from the giraffes over here that this is getting a bit more prominent um, with the right hand side here, which is a lot more dark, a bit more um, contrasty, uh, not saturated, but, you know, um, this brown is, is actually more prominent. And, you know, this way you already get a bit more of a feeling of different animals. And you can really distinguish them from a distance way better than you were able to before. And also, you know, I'm not going to talk too much about those in the distance because, you know, as I... You know, I don't really know if there is so much of a difference. I could assume that this one is like a bit brighter but less saturated than that one and this one is a bit more saturated. But you know, just guessing I would need to be in the game to actually see it. Um, but yeah, I'm also wondering what these kind of plants are in the foreground, to be honest. Um, I, they, they gave me a little bit of a, a little bit of a struggle to find them in game. So I'm a bit, 
I'm a bit confused by which kind of uh, plants that are. I mean, I thought I would know, but I'm, I'm definitely not too sure, to be honest. But anyways, let's jump off to the next one. And this is the Timberwolf, and that is the heavy changes. And oh my god, am I excited for that. I think this is one of those animals that you never know what you are missing until you see what you are missing. And now you see it actually very, very prominent. Look at how much this changes the pack. This is incredible because now you really can distinguish each individual animal of your group. Also the excitement for puppies and for babies is going to raise again because you, you don't know how many different variants Frontier is going to add. I really hope that they have kind of a dynamic system that hopefully will bring us more than let's say five or six variants and, and just kind of changes also hue and saturation. So that would be cool if it's just a value thing because then again you would have room for so much more improvements. I'm definitely excited to hear more about that and um, yeah I'm just in general very excited to see what they're up for and yeah I, as you can see this is like I'm, I'm not even talking about colors or saturation anymore this is like completely different fur and skin. Um, this this thing over here on the right hand side is brownish while this is totally gray with some very dark um, contrasty stripes over here while that one is just on the back completely just like brownish it merged into each other colors and then this one in the back over here is a lot more bright and vibrant having a very warm brown and then to the top it actually gets a bit more grayish which is kind of cool and then you have this one over here which is again more gray but also doesn't really have that crazy contrast as you have on the left hand side and then you can see this baby here on the left hand side that really has oops let me just zoom in again um which which has it seems another kind of pattern that none of the others have and maybe it's related to that one but again that would be only guessing and you can actually tell from this one that this the ears seem to be quite more saturated while the rest of the body is a bit less and then the, the legs the, the the back legs seem to be again a bit more brownish and saturated which is super cool to be honest and Again, I, I can only hope that, you know, if I have a pair of two, if they kind of mate and then, you know, they kind of translate, as they stated in the forum post, that they will translate their genes onto the next generation and you will get a completely different color variant. Not sure if they will be able to do this on the market with, like, I don't know, the icons, if they change the icons, I, I assume they don't because that's that would be like crazy work. Um, but so getting animals from the from the workshop, uh, from the um, from the market will be a bit more exciting again because definitely you also will opt for some different color variants and you just don't want to have like a whole pack of wolves that is only, only gray, you know, because now you really want to have like the variation in. And uh, so yeah, each individual zoo will not feel um, so much the same anymore, which I think this is a... A detail change which changes a lot about the game and I really do appreciate that a lot guys. I am a big 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 fan uh, of this change. I'm I'm all over it. I, honestly, I, I couldn't be more positive about it. I, it's it's really that kind of thing. And I really do hope, and fingers crossed, that Frontier will blow it out of the park with this change. And, you know, assuming that they already have the, the subtle, medium, and, and um, heavy change um, is in is already kind of a cool hint. Um, and also that they spend time to make it down to not only, like, you know, they could have done it just random, you know, um, and that would be fine, I guess, as well. But they, they went a little bit a step ahead and and connect that to the gene system and which i think is a really cool core piece of the game and gives us a bit more to play with uh, actually haha <laughs> no pun intended but um you know without adding any kind of animal that is really something absolutely crazy i love that so so much and i really do hope that you guys um, agree with me <laughs> if not what are you doing no i'm just kidding but let me know um in the comments simply because honestly i'm i'm not like super much of an expert here um i know that animals obviously have different skin and fur variants you know that is just kind of a natural ability to tell from the animals you saw but i would be very uh, interested in in understanding and knowing which animals have the biggest changes in their fur and skin variant let me know in the comments down below because i know that you guys are experts so let me know of animals we have in the game that you expect to have like a heavy change which you think would have a medium one and which of those animals we have do you think have less crazy like a subtle change because you know from from my feeling elephants for example or the uh 
the Asian elephant and African ones, they just have a subtle change and zebras as well. Like they, they don't really have that much of a change to them. While some other animals, um, bears, I guess, maybe. And also I'm very excited for the polar bear if they have like yellowish and, and whitish tint to it. So I'm super excited. So let me know in the comments down below what you think, which animal gets a gets a heavy change in, in skin, uh, fit, well, what I'm even saying, uh, skin and fur variants and what, which not. Anyways, that's it for the short update. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited. I definitely am, as you hopefully will, was able to tell from the video. And now uh, let's move on with this wonderful weekend and fingers crossed that there's more uh, cool content in the future coming for Planet Zoo. And now, um, yeah, I wish all of you a very happy weekend and uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Again, as always, it, it helps the channel. You know that stuff, you know. And um, now, yeah, have a good time. See you next time. Goodbye, guys.